Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 13.4, we're going to work on finding unknown measures. Our essential, essential question is, how can you find an unknown measure of a rectangle given its area or perimeter? Okay, we're on page 539. So let's go ahead and look at our unlock the problem for today. And Tanisha is painting a mural that is in the shape of a rectangle. The mural covers an area of 54 square feet. The base of the mural measures 9 feet. What is its height? Use a formula for area. What do we need to find? Well, <clears throat> first let's see which numbers we need. We need 54 square feet. That's the whole area of the mural. And we need, and we need to know that the base is 9 feet. What is its height? Okay, so what do we need to find? What is the height? What information do you know? We know that its area is 54 square feet, and the base is 9 feet. All right, so how can we find the use the formula for area to find the missing piece, <clears throat> the missing side? So model. So let's think. Label the measures you know and use N for the unknown. We know two out of the three parts of our formula. We know that the area is 54 square feet. We know that the base is 9. We have to find the height. Okay, so now we're going to use the model to fill in the formula. Well, we know that the formula is area equals base times height. Okay. The area they told me was 54. The base they told me was 9. So 9 times the height is 54 square feet. So what is 9 times 54? No, 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 no. 9 times what equals 54? 9 times 6. So the height of our figure is 6 feet. All right, so what if the mural were in the shape of a square with an area of... 81 square feet, what would the height of the mural be? And explain. Well, again, we have, this time it says shape of a square. So we know that area equals side times side. Well, if the area is 91, then what number times itself is 81? Well, 10 times 10 is 100. 9 times 9 is 81. So, 9. The height of the mural would be 9. Nine feet. Since it's a square, All the sides are equal. Nine times nine equals eighty-one. Okay. okay. Explain how you can find the unknown side length of any square when given only the area of the square. Well, <clears throat> so on that. Again, we'd have area equals side times side. So how could we figure out the area of it if it's if we're only given the area of the square? Okay. So we could take the square root of the number, but hmm, we haven't talked about square roots, have we? 
Hmm. So, we basically need to ask ourselves what number times itself will give us that number. So the base and the height have to be the same, right? If it is a square. So I just need to ask what number times itself is the area. Not yes. How about equals the area? Okay. So if the base and the height have to be the same, if it's a square, we just need to ask what number times itself equals the area. Okay. Like we did in 81. 9 times 9 is 81. Okay. <clears throat> Example 2. Gary is building an outdoor pen in the shape of a rectangle for his dog. He will use 24 meters of fencing. The pen will be three meters wide. How long will the pen be? Okay. So he's going to use 24 meters of fencing. We need to find the perimeter. Okay. The pen is three meters wide. We have to find the length. So the perimeter they told me was 24 meters. We can use n to represent the length. All right, so the perimeter is 24. 2 times n plus 2 times 3. Okay, all I'm doing is putting in the numbers that I know. So I don't know the, the 2 and the n. I'm sorry, I don't know the, the length of our, our, of our shape. But I know that the two widths are 6. So I know these two sides have to add up to 6. So what number plus 6 is 24? Well, we just would do 24 take away 6. 18. Now, so 2 times something is 18. I have to cover a distance of 18 meters with these two sides, and they have to be equal. So 18 divided by 2, 9. So the pen will be 9 meters long. Two times what is 18? 9. All right, the perimeter of a square is 24 feet. Find the side length. All right, so we know that all the sides are, the, are equal. We know the perimeter is 24. So 4 times what is 24? Now that's the same as saying 24 divide by 4. So s equals 6. The side length of the square is 6 feet. If we put in the 6, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, or 6 times 4, is 24. All right, page 541, number 1. Find the unknown measure. The area of the rectangle is 36 square feet. So, the space inside this rectangle is 36 square feet. 
So what do we know? We know the area. The area is 36. Do we know the base? We could choose either one, okay? In this case, they're saying that's B. Oh, I'm sorry. They want us to figure out the base, okay? So they're, they're telling us that three is the height, okay? And it doesn't really matter though, right? Okay. So, but because they want us to put in a value for the base, it would be three times what is 36? Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So what is 36 divided by three? Twelve. So the base is twelve feet. And that makes sense. Twelve times three is thirty-six. Find the unknown measure of the rectangle. Okay, so perimeter. So we're going to be doing two times the length plus two times the width, which is the same as two times the sum of the length and the width. So we're dealing with perimeter here. And they're telling me we have to find the width. All right, so perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. So the perimeter of 44, 44 equals two times 12, plus two times n, because I don't know the width. So 44 equals 24 plus two times n. So we already know the 24. So what's the space, what's the distance left? So 44 take away 24 equals two times the width. 44 take away 24 is 20. So two times what is 20? 10. 10 centimeters. Okay. Two times something equals 20 is the same as saying 20 divided by 2. So that would give us 10. <clears throat> Number three. Nine times something is 108. So they're saying the base is nine and we have to find the height. So area equals base times height. The area is 108 square inches. The base is nine and we have to figure out the height. Well, nine times something is the same as saying 108 divided by nine. So 108 divide by 9. I can't share 9 with 100. I'm sorry. I can't share 100 into 9 groups. So, but I can share 10 tens in 9 groups by putting 1 10 in each group. That leaves me 18 ones to share with 9 groups, which would be twice. So 12. So the height is 12 inches. 12 times 9 is 108. All right, how about number 4? 5 meters times something will give me an area of 90 square meters. So we know the space inside has to be 90 square meters. So area equals base times height. The area is 90. They're saying that they want us to find the base. So they are calling this the height. So the base times the height of five. So five times something is 90. Five times what is 90? That's the same as doing 90 divided by five. I can put 110 into each group, into the five groups, leaving me with four tens. I can't share the four tens. So I'll bring down the zeros that are left. I have 40 ones now. 
40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5, 40, leaves me nothing. 18. So the base is 18 meters. All right, number five. Okay, on number five, we're trying to find the perimeter. So we'll start with a formula. Two times the length plus two times the width. Okay, we're having to find the length. So they're giving us the width of five. So the perimeter is 34. So two times n to represent the length, plus 2 times 5. So 34 equals 2 times the width plus 10. We need to subtract the side that we know to see how much distance is left. So we're going to subtract 10 from both sides, and we're left with 2 times something equals 24. 2 times 12. So the length is 12 yards. Will that make sense? 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 5 is 10. 24 plus 10 is 34. So that does make sense. Number 6. We have to find the area, <clears throat> I'm sorry, we have to find the missing uh, side in this rectangle with an area of 96 square feet. So this is the base that we have to find. So base times height, so 96 equals the base times the height of 8. Okay, well, that's the opposite of multiplication is division. So 96 divided by 8. And you put 110 into each of the 8 groups. I now have 16 ones left. I can put two ones into each of the 8 groups. So 12. Base is 12. 12 times 8. Is that 96? Let's see. 8 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. Regroup to 110. 8 times 1 is 8, plus one more is 9. So 96 checks out. So 96, uh, 12 feet is the base. Okay, we have an area of 126 square centimeters. And we have a base of 9. So start by writing the formula. And then plug in the values we know. We know the area is 126 square centimeters. We know the base is 9 centimeters. We don't know the height. All right, so again, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So 126 divided by 9. Because when we say 9 times something, that means that those are factors of 126. If a number is a factor of it, that means that that, is, that factor is a divisor of that number. I have 36 ones left. I can put 4 into each group. 14. So the height is 14 centimeters. Let's double check is 14 times 9, 126. 4 times 9 is 36. Regroup the three tens. 9 times 1 is 9, plus three tens, 126. All right, number 8. A square has an area of 49 square inches. Explain how to find the perimeter of the square. All right, so again, a square has a base and height that are equal. So 7 times 7 equals 49. 
So to find the perimeter, it would be 4 times 7, which equals 28 inches. So square, both sides are equal. One number times itself is 49, seven times seven. So if I know the size of a square are seven, then four times seven would tell me the perimeter. Four times seven is 28 inches. Number nine. <clears throat> the area of a swimming pool is 120 square meters. The width of the pool is 8 meters. What is the length of the pool in centimeters? Well, okay. So the pool is 120 square meters. The width height of the pool is 8 meters. What is the length of the pool? So in this case, if 8 is the height, this would be the base. So the length is the same as the base. So area equals base times height. The area is 120. We have to find the base for the length. And the height is 8, the width. The height or width of this pool is 8. Okay, so 8 times something is 120. Well, that's the same as saying 120 divided by 8. 15. So the length is 15 centimeters. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. This is 15 meters. Okay. How many centimeters are in a meter? A hundred. So what is a hundred times 15? 15 times one is 15. Two zeros. 1500 centimeters. Okay. So we have to be careful with this problem. So they gave us information that was in meters, and they gave us the size that was in meters, but then they said, what is the length in centimeters? Okay, so if I wrote 15, yes, it's 15 meters, but the question asks me to put it in centimeters. So we have to convert 15 meters to centimeters by multiplying by 100. You'll remember from chapter 12 that 100 centimeters equals one meter. Okay, number 10. An outdoor deck is seven feet wide. The perimeter of the deck is 64 feet. What is the length of the deck? Use the numbers to write an equation and solve. A number may be used more than once. So they're showing us the formula of P times the length plus 2 times the width. The perimeter is 64. 64 times 2 times length plus 2 times the width. They told me the width is 7. All right, so 64 equals 2 times the length plus 14. Because 2 times 7 is 14. We now need to subtract 14 from 64. The other two sides have to add up to 50. So 2 times what is 50? 25. So the length of the deck is 25 feet. Let's see if that makes sense. 25 plus 25 is 50. 7 plus 7 is 14. 
50 plus 14 is 64. Yes, that does make sense. Okay. And connect to science. Last section. Mountain lions are known as cougars, panthers, or pumas. The range once was from coast to coast in North America and from Argentina to Alaska. Hunting and habitat destruction now restricts their range to mostly mountainous, unpopulated areas. Mountain lions are solitary animals. A male's territory often overlaps two females' territories, but never overlaps another male's. The average size of a male's territory is 108 square miles, but it may be smaller or larger, depending on how plentiful food is. All right, so a male mountain lion has a rectangular territory with an area of 96 square miles. If his territory is 8 miles wide, what is the length of his territory? Okay. So we know our area is 96. And we know that he has a territory that's 8 miles wide. All right. So we've been using area equals base times height to figure this out. So we're saying that the mountain lion has a rectangular territory of 96 square miles miles. We know that he has a width of 8 miles. Well, we're going to call the width the height in this case. So we need to find the base or the length of his territory. I'm going to say length or base. Be consistent, lowercase b. So 8 times something is 96. That's the same thing as saying 96 divided by 8. I can put 110 into each of the 8 groups with 110 remaining. I'm going to trade that for 10 ones. So I have 16 ones for 8 groups. I'm going to put two into each group, leaves me zero. So the length is 12 miles. 12 times eight is 96. So 12 miles. Okay, so that's it for finding the unknown side in a rectangle, finding the area or the perimeter. The missing side and our next lesson will be problem solving finding the area so until then may the numbers always be in your favor